Hey guys, Shake 753 here to bring you another YouTube video. This time, I'm exposed another fanboy. This guy's name is Saber X Hero. He's been making a lot of content on the Goku vs Superman Epic Rap Battles of History video. Some of them that are, none of them, none of them even accurate. Most of these things are straight up lies. Uh, back, let me show you right now. Let's see what the guys. So right here it says, Goku has more weaknesses than Superman, really. Like what? Which can always be a current ex ex thing. I cannot put out word right. Exceeded when fighting with rare Kryptonians. Goku is variable to things such as oxygen, hunger, extreme temperatures. Really? Well, Goku needs oxygen to breathe? Well, let's show him a clip like this. Well, that's one thing completely debunked. Let's see what else he says. Okay, hunger, extreme temperatures, fair enough. Sharp objects. Only if that object is strong enough. I mean, let, let's watch this. So yeah, sharp objects, that's not going to work on him unless the object is swung out of force strong enough to cut through his body. And seeing how he can survive smashing through mountains, I highly doubt anybody can throw, throw something like that. Now, blood loss, eh, fair enough. Lack of intelligence. Lack of intelligence? Lack of intelligence? You're saying Goku's dumb? I'm not going to lie. Goku's a goofball. But if Goku's really an idiot, how come he was out, able to outsmart four cells and and Frieza watch Come on. So yeah, so much for Goku's lack of intelligence, as I just proved. With relying on spiritual energy to take down strong folks. Well, duh! That's how we fight, so what? Exclusively relying on spiritual energy? Wait, exclusively? So all those punches and kicks, that stuff never happens? That, that, that's just dumb. Just dumb. Let's look at what else this guy's got. Mm. Nothing in there. You can't kill. Wait. There's nothing in there. Hmm. In fact, I, as I remember, I made a, a like a list of mistakes. Why he loses? Huh? Scientific law. Simply applying experiment. Ah. He applied that same law to Goku too. Idiot. Yeah. You can okay. God, the level between only in Super Saiyan three and four. He can't 
he isn't a god just because his hair changes his color. You do realize that that increases his power. Oh, Superman can survive planetary explosions. He can create black holes. Wait, wasn't there a bomb designed to kill Goku that was also strong enough to destroy the whole planet? No ordinary explosive. You could take out the whole planet with that thing. Goodness. Well, it makes sense. One thing you can <laughs> You big idiot. Such a shit. But then, a mere bomb wouldn't have been enough to destroy me anyway. So yeah, that bomb wouldn't work on Cell. And Goku is far surpassed Cell, as I proved in one of my previous videos. So how is that bomb? So, so I mean, no, I mean, yeah, that bomb. He surpassed that bomb. So Goku can survive a planetary explosion. Easily. Oh, look. And look, look at this video right here. I mean, look at this. But he says that lasers aren't even close to the speed of light. Are you kidding me? Do, do you even know what a laser is? I mean, a laser is made of light. That's what it is. A laser beam is light concentrated into one area in a focused beam. That's what a laser is. Of course, it's the speed of light. In fact, I made a list of mistakes on everything this guy's messed up on. Look, look, lasers do move at the speed of light. It's a proven fact. Here's a link. And then Sue's predicting, Sue's predicting movements probably won't work on Goku. He was able to... Oh, maneuver, I did not spell maneuver, right? Uh, a copy of himself as a child. In fact, let's see that real quick. Let's see it. So, yeah. So... If even Goku, if Goku himself can't predict his own movements, what makes you think that Superman can predict his movements? There's, there's no way he can. There's no way. Okay, okay. Goku is faster than light. In the original manga, Goten spun around the world in, from orbit 12 times in one second. It, it, and he wasn't even going in a straight line. He was goofing off, too. But, like. like Light can only do it nine times in one second. For all the power levels, Goku's faster. Plus, he was faster than Berta, who in the dice, who, ba, aka Bata, who himself said was faster than light in the dice, in the dice entry, confirms it. Watch, watch. Come on, come on, come on, load. 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 Sorry, it's taking so long. It's a little computer. See? Look. Right here. There. I'm faster than light. I'm the fastest being in the whole universe. See? See? Serious, people? Look. Goku can breathe in space. He gained the power in Battle of Gods. As I proved to you earlier. Okay. BLG acts as a red con for GT. There's a major event where Pilaf and his and his gang get turned into kids, making the whole setup for GT impossible. Plus, 17 years ago, Akira Toriyama said GT was a, was a side story to begin with. It was a side story. It was never canon. It was just there for entertainment, to make money off of it. But the only reason suits, suits, the only reason Superman's sneeze could destroy a soul system was because of the magic powder in his nose. I'm so tired of Superman fanboys saying, oh, his sneezes can destroy a solar system. Yeah, because of the magic powder that was in his nose. But if Goku's an idiot, how come he was able to outsmart four cells and even Frieza twice? In fact, and how could he figure out that Frieza couldn't sense energy? Goku is a smart fighter. Now look, look at this. The dude never follows me back up on that. All these other guys come in, and he never follows up my comment. He never follows up my comment. Look, didn't, didn't you read my last comment? Nope, he never follows it up on it. He's too scared to. Hmm. We're back. Let's keep going. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Oh, here. Bringing up this guy. Final analysis. No, I'll debunk this from, to another video. 
because they made a whole bunch of mistakes in that. They still applied the gravity formula. If they're really using power levels, if they're really using power levels, then they would know that Goku lifting 40 tons has no relevance the second he finished training with it because Goku he, Goku gets stronger through training and Zenkai boost. Not to mention that whole 40 tons thing happened before the boost saga. Do you know how many power boosts he's gotten? Do you know how many Zenkai boosts? How much training he's been through? That 40 tons has no relevance. He punched through the King Kai planet. A mat, a magical, a, a tiny magical planet 10 times Earth's gravity. That that feat has no relevance anymore. Come on, 40 tons, it, it's not relevant. And now look, now I admit, this guy, it's marked as spam for some reason. I'll, res I'll restore it. Now, I admit, I was bagging on this guy for not responding to my comment. And then he says that it was marked as spam. I looked it up. It was never marked as spam. It was never marked as spam at all. It was never marked as Let's go see it. Let's go see it right now. Let's go, let's go see it right now. Let's see it right now. Yeah? Huh? Doesn't say spam anywhere? Does that say spam? I don't see spam, you liar. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Oh. Hmm. This is okay. Finish it. You think this? Like this guy says, "Oh my gosh, the amount of optimism in this comment is off the scale." They're both fake. They're both douches made up by someone who wants. He's talking about these. This debate. It doesn't even matter. And how it's all irrelevant, but actually, no. I think I'm done here. I'm done. I've, I've already talked about everything that needs to be talked about. Bye. Please subscribe.